Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It's January 21st. Here are your latest headlines. Starting February 1st, Lafayette Parish Public School students in 8th and 12th grade will transition to daily in-person learning. Right now, only elementary school students are in class on a daily basis. Students in grades 6 and 7 and grades 9 through 11 will continue to follow the AB hybrid schedule. Happening today, the Vermilion Parish School Board will consider an extension of COVID sick days for their employees. Those days were granted under the CARES Act, but expired on New Year's Eve. Lafayette and St. Mary Parish has granted similar extensions. According to the final report issued by President Trump's Coronavirus Task Force, the entire state is in the red zone for both new COVID cases and the number of positivity tests. The task force says Louisiana must limit personal gatherings to reduce the case count. It also says the state's mask mandate works and must be kept in place. The report calls for restaurants, bars, gyms and other indoor spaces where masks cannot be worn at all times closed. Early research is showing mixed results for how current COVID vaccines protect against virus mutations. Scientists put blood samples from 20 people who received either the Moderna or the Pfizer shot in a Petri dish with coronavirus mutations. In some cases, the antibodies had no problem fighting off a mutation, but in others, they had a harder time. Researchers say so far the vaccines provide enough protection against current mutations, but there may be concern for future variances. Ordinance setting up new juvenile and curfew and open container restrictions for downtown Lafayette are now dead. The council killed the Guillory administration's proposal without a vote. No one moved to introduce the open container proposal and no one seconded a motion to introduce the curfew ordinance. Temperatures today are probably going to push up to about 73 degrees. A lot of clouds out there. It's going to be very, very gray as we get through the, the rest of this Thursday. And then for Friday, showers really going to be picking up. And you're going to see them start to increase through the evening tonight and continue overnight. Light scattered showers up before then, though. So do be prepared for a little bit of that this afternoon. But the heavier stuff, the more sustained stuff, that's going to be arriving late tonight, overnight, and then continuing through a solid portion of the day. Friday's quite wet out there to wrap this week up. Temperatures at about 70 degrees across the board. We cool down briefly for Saturday. A lot of clouds stick around Saturday, though, and then finally getting a little bit of clearing on Sunday. In the meantime, low is going to be sitting in the low 60s and upper 50s. The high today, 73, 63 for the overnight low.